going to create a uh, unikernel uh, from an existing Docker image. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly and easily. Uh, this is very useful when um, there aren't uh, public packages made for the particular piece of software you want to try, but there might be a, a Docker image that exists. So if you don't have ops, go to ops.city first, download it. Um, if you don't like this way of downloading, we have links on the downloads page, and you can look at the hash and all that good stuff. Uh, all right, so what we have here is hi.js, um, and it's just, you know, it's just printing it out. We can run it locally on Mac. Okay, seems to work. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, we have node packages inside the, uh, the official repository that you can use, um, but, you know, maybe there's a different version of node you want to use. So let's go ahead and load a different one. We'll do ops package from Docker. Uh, node 16.3.0 and we'll just say hey give me um, these files here. So what's going to happen here is even if I don't have this docker image um, ops is going to force docker to go out and download it uh, first and this will just take a second. All right so I fast forwarded a little bit because this was a few hundred meg that it needed to download. Um, but after we've done that, we can go ahead and just load it up locally. Um, I think we called it node-16.30. We'll just pass it i.js. So this um, creates a unikernel on demand from the local package that we uh, created. And so as you can see, uh, there it is. Uh, and so, so now you can uh, run this uh, as much as you want and you can upload it to the crowd to the uh, cloud and use it. Um, so quick and easy, how do you convert a Docker container into a NanoS unikernel? Catch you next time.